All right, sometimes uh, people ask me how we can shade an entire row uh, if a condition uh, occurs. So it's like condition, conditional formatting, except we want to do the entire row. Here's how you're going to make that work. You're going to go up to the section expert. And then let's say the row that we want to format is the detail section. So you pick on the detail section, you pick on color. Now we have another video about the background color, but I want to show you something a little bit different here. If you notice, you have this X2 over there. I call it an X2 because it looks like an X and a 2 there. But that means you're going to go into a formula screen. So you can put some logic in there. Let's pick on the X2. So here you have, uh, we're back to the formula screen. There's other uh, videos that talk about the formulas. But here I can add my different fields. Here I can add my different functions. Now if you notice, they already have some code here. And the, uh, the code is in green because it's comments. If you look at the first two characters, it has those two slashes. So these are just comments. But the reason that this is there is to show you what to use for the actual colors in your code. So blue is CR blue, or silver is CR silver, okay? So let me show you how we might do this. In this case, we're going to use an if. I'm going to say if, uh, let's go with an example, like if the U.S. dollar amount is over $40, then uh, I'm going to type in CR red here. In other words, if I look over here, it says CR red. Now, you don't have to match the case, but you have to spell it the same way. So, if the expense, if the U.S. dollar amount is greater than 40, then CR red. What's going to be CR red? Well, we're in the background color of the code. So, the background color of the detail section will be red. And we'll say else CR white. In other words, uh, if it's if, if it's not more than $40, then it'll just be white as the background. All right, so it says, if the U.S. dollar amount is greater than 40, then CR red, else CR white. So we'll do a uh, check the syntax, and we're looking good there. And we'll save that. Now, this is very subtle, but before I went into that, the X2 was blue. Now the X2 is um, red. If you notice the other X2s, uh, they're, they're all blue. So anytime you see a red X2, that means there's code behind that. Uh, so you might want to find that in your existing reports. If you find the X2 all over the uh, section expert, as we can see, you'll also see it under the, uh, for the format field options. I'm going to click on OK. All right, now all of these are more than 40, so they all turned red. But notice how the ones that are less than 40 are not red. Here's one that is red because it's uh, more than 40. You can see the whole line turn red. So that's how we can do uh, changing the color of the lines based on a condition. We went up to the section expert. And then let me show you again. Report, section expert. We picked on the detail section. We picked on the color tab. And then the X2. Clicked on that and we said... You know, whatever formula might be the case, but in this case I'm saying if the dollar amount is greater than 40, then CR red is going to be the background color, else CR white.